Did you ever have a user that could not access his OneDrive library because his account was not correctly provisioned? In this video, I want to show you what you can try in such case to solve the behavior yourself. In the first part of the video, we will see how we can try and solve provisioning issues for one user, and in the second part, what to check if more than one user are affected. So I am in the Office 365 Admin Center under Active Users, and I will look at this one user that I created recently. I will use a different browser now, and I will sign in with this user account. And once logged in, looking at the services, they all look correctly provisioned. But let's try and access OneDrive. What I can notice is that I am being redirected to Delve. So if you are admin in such case, you should first go and double check the user's license, expand the one assigned to him and see if the SharePoint Online is assigned. If it is, go to SharePoint Admin Center under User Profiles and Manage User Permissions. In here, add the user separately and after that activate all three options that you can find under Permissions. Then go back to the Office 365 Admin Center, open Users Details and remove the user's SharePoint Online license and Office Online as they depend on each other. After doing this, just to be sure, you can wait about 20-30 minutes and then go and assign the license back to the user. Save the changes. And now Let's go to our other browser and sign out with the affected user. And after this is successfully completed, let's sign back in. What we can see now is that the actions we perform have triggered a reprovisioning of this user. So we'll, you will need now to wait for the SharePoint Online and Office services to set up. And once these are complete, try and access OneDrive again. If successful, you will get the initial provisioning steps, as you can see in my case. And I can now successfully open the user's OneDrive library. In case we have more than one user impacted, then we should check the following. Go to the SharePoint Admin Center as I am now, and by default this is the view you might also have, and the storage limit column might be missing. So let's go into the settings, and change the site collection storage management from automatic to manual. Confirm the changes with OK and we will land back again on the site collections list. Let's reload the page now. And if on your MySite host the storage limit is set to zero, which is not my case, then you will need to change this. So mark the MySite host and go into storage quota. In here, you should change it to any value different than zero. So save the changes and you will need to wait for these updates to complete. But once applied, well, give it some time for the changes to sync on the tenant between I would say one hour and 24 hours and then ask the users to sign back into their account and access their OneDrive site. At that moment, this should trigger their MySite provisioning. If you still experience issues after that, please reach out to our support. Hope this will be useful for you and thank you for watching.